G'day guys, welcome back. I've got these two new little um, silicon inlays that I've made. Gorgeous shells. Now last time when I did the flower, I think it was, oh no, it was the um, Nautilus, that's right. And I was deciding whether or not I should use the interference and I didn't, so I'm gonna use them today. So I've got Bling It. Uh, interference, this one's blue and this one's violet. So as you can see, they just look like white powders. They've got a bit of a hint of a color in them. So I'm going to just dust those first and then I'll mix up my resin. So let's, now it's going to be really difficult to, um, actually it's going to be really, might be difficult to see. Oh, no, it's not too bad. Not too bad because I thought, oh, we might not be able to see it on a white mould, but I can see where I'm going, so that's okay. All right, so I will just dust these two guys. Can you see the sort of sheen there? Which one's that blue? Yep. Um, no, I'll make sure I get the sides as well. Now, I'm just, I've just put them onto my board here. This is a piece of Perspex or acrylic. Uh, it's nice and easy for me when I when I spill some resin, then I you know I can just wipe it, and also it's it's handy for dusting these as well. Then I don't have to do it in the mold because I make such a mess. So it's, I find it easier just doing it here, and then I can transfer it into my mold when I'm ready. You've just got to be careful you don't you know lose too much of it on your your fingers, I guess. So I'll just do the one for you now, and then I'll turn off the camera, I'll pause it, I'll do the other one, I'll mix up my resin, just clear resin, uh, and then I'll come back to you when we're ready. So I don't want to have too much, uh, I don't want to leave too much powder on it. I'm actually going to just take it gently and just blow it over here in front of the rubbish bin, give it a little bit of a... A blow. Can you see that little bit of a shimmer? Hopefully it'll turn out pretty. There's so many things you could do with these, like different colours. I was going to do one gold and one silver, and then I thought, oh no, that's right, I told you I was going to try the interference, so I'll do that. I'm just going to... This mould was already out from my last pour, the one with the druzy edge, so I'm just going to use that one. Now, instead of pushing it down with just my naked fingers so to speak I'm going to use my gloves and hopefully I won't transfer too much I might just go over it a little bit with my my brush again uh, but yeah basically that's it just go over it a little bitty just in case I've messed up my color but I think it's oh gosh see now I've made a mistake all right um, I will see you when the other one's ready Right, uh, I've mixed up my resin. I'm using the Platinum 360 Plus. Um, it is only 17 degrees in my studio at the moment. It's pretty cold, <laughs> 17 degrees Celsius. So I've got my resin. I stirred it while it was sitting in a bowl of warm water. It's just warm tap water. So while I was stirring for the four minutes, I had it sitting in there. So I'll just dry its little bottom now. And um, yeah, hopefully it's it does feel thinner now. It was quite quite thick. You know, resin when it's cold, it it acts like honey. Um, and um, when it's cold, it goes really thick. And then when the temperature's warm, it thins down. It's it's a pretty difficult. <laughs> it can be a difficult medium to use. It's um doing my head in with the blooms at the moment because my timing's all out because my resin's so cold. I think what I'm going to do is go back to the 360 plus for the blooms and um, go back to taking its temperature because it's just acting so differently now that it's cold. Even though I have my heater on, the resin's still cold in its bottle. So I will try that. So here we go. As you can see, I'm, I'm trying to pour around the outside so to minimize the disruption of that interference powder I figure if I pour around the outside and the resin can just run over the top then 
So I mixed up uh, 125 grams of part A and 55 grams of part B. Um, it's not going to fill them totally, but that's okay. I don't want them to be totally full. Now, I think what I'm going to do is once these are cured, um, oh, let me shut the door. Hang on. All right, so as I was saying, once these are cured, um, I will turn them out and I'm going to most likely just fill, like when I take the um, silicone insert or inlay out, it'll leave that little hollow. I'll most likely just fill that with black, chasing that bubble. Um, and leave the rest clear. Only be, well, because see my um, this mold has got these gorgeous druzy crystal edges, and they just look more like crystal. They look really amazing if they're left clear. If you put black on the whole thing, it's just going to spoil the effect. So I think what I'll do is I will just put the black in, and then we'll have this gorgeous crystal look on the outside, which will add to it. Now with these, it's a good idea, there's a little bubble there, it's a good idea just to come back and check every few minutes. Um, don't just like think, okay, we're done and walk away because you may get little bubbles coming up sort of from underneath the silicone insert um, or from around the edges. You can also go, oh, actually I probably should have sprayed it. Oh no, I couldn't spray it really because of my Inlay. I'm just going to go around the edges with my little silicone brush because those pesky bubbles, they do like to cling to the edges. And if you can see any, just sort of dislodge them. Um, and then when they come to the surface, you can pop them. Just be really careful with your heat gun or your torch. You don't want to melt your mold and fuse your resin to the mold. All right, so um, yeah, I'll, I'll just keep an eye on them. I'll come back every five minutes and just pop bubbles. And then uh, I will see you when these are ready to unmold and we'll just fill the back with black. Right, oh, I'm back. It's uh, It's been a few hours. I'm slightly bendy, but I think we can get them out because I want to have the black in there and ready to go so that I can unmold tomorrow I know I haven't put a video up for a few days I'm sorry I've had builders in my studio they've been doing the cabinetry so which is great but I haven't been able to do any work now I wonder if that's going to make any marks if I turn it around whoops all right so here we go there's a tiny little bubble in the corner there let's have a little look it's actually good to um get your inlay or insert whatever you want to call it out when the um your resin's still a little bit bendy because it comes out really easy it'll just peels off like that so try and sort of loosen all of that first there's not much it's only a tiny bit a little bit there all right so that's it and then we'll just Kind of just roll the edge with my thumb and peel it out so that's it there out oh, there's a few little bubbles in it never mind add to that oceany look <laughs> won't it all right so that's what it looks like at the moment which looks really pretty anyway but i am going to fill it with black um just don't want to put it on that. I might go and get something cleaner. All right, I just took my bit of paper out from underneath the Perspex because the Perspex has got little bits of resin and bumps and lumps and things on it. So um, I don't want it to sort of mark the front of my piece. All right, let's get these little bits off this one. Hope this works. Another one I did with um, oh, what was it? The black, the the gold and the silver ones with those Nautilus. They didn't exactly turn out the way I was expecting. I mean, they were still really pretty, but 
Yeah, you just never know what you're going to get, do you? It's a bit of a surprise. A bit of a surprise package with resin. You just don't know what you're going to get. Now, before you, like, you take your little inlay out, um, and then before you pour your black or whatever colour that you're going to use, make sure that you've got a nice clean edge, that you've peeled everything away. Okie dokes. You're picking up what I'm throwing you. Peel that one out. Oh, look at that. You can see it's definitely got purple on it, hasn't it? It's really pretty. So just run your, your thumbnail along the edge there. And just make sure that you haven't missed any little bits. That's good. Yep, that one's good. This one. It's really easy to do. You just have to run your nail around the edge like that. And then any little loose bits will come off. There's a little tiny bubble there that I'm going to try and break that. There we go. Sorry if this is boring, but it's it's part of it. It's part of the important stuff. All right, so make sure that you've got nothing on the other side because it will show up. So make sure it's nice and clean. I have these little um, microfiber wipes that are really good. All right, um, now gloves back on. Be careful where I'm pouring my black now. I don't leak it anywhere. Oh, gosh, I've got way too much here. Oh my gosh, never mind. All right, so it's just the same, the Platinum 360 Plus. And I made up, um, I did 75, let's see a little bit that I've missed. It's 75, no, 50, 50 of A and 22 of B, which I thought, yeah, you know, an ounce each. <laughs> but um, it's probably, if we don't need that much. Don't overfill it, okay? Because you don't want that going over into your clear section. So just be careful. You could, if you wanted to, spray it with alcohol first. Right, I'm just going to put that there. I'm just going to push this in gently, bently. You don't really want to dome it. Um, because then it, your coaster is not going to sit flat. If you're going to be putting the little silicon bumper feet on this, you'll have to put them sort of on your shell because otherwise you'll see them in the clear resin. So probably best not to overfill it. Now, where that little bubble was in the corner, I'm just going to oops, make sure the black resin's gone into my little bubble. I think it's, it was in there somewhere. Hopefully that's got it. Okay. All right, that one's full. This one could do with a tiny little bit more. Push that up to the edge. Okay, so that's pretty much it, you guys. Uh, quick little torch. You don't have to worry about burning your silicon mold because there's not one. Oh, what's that? That's a bubble. All right, so that's it. Um, I'll leave it like that. And then tomorrow, maybe I can even do it tonight. What's the time now? Where's my clock? Oh, it's 4.30. Yeah, I can probably do it tonight. All right. Then I can edit my video and put it up. All right. All right, I'll see you when it's done. Hope they work. Right, I think they're set. It is 9 p.m. So all we need to do is basically flip them over <laughs> and see what they look like. Now you can see a little bit of the blue around the edge there. So this is the blue one. Oh, let's have a look. I'll turn it around here so I can see which way we're going. All right. Here we go. 
Oh, wow. There we go, blue, purple, and blue, purple. A few little bubbles, but I don't think it matters. I mean, it's it's a clamshell. <laughs> it's in water. Oh, yes. I like that. I do like the colour. You can see kind of purple on the lines and then blue on the top. Hopefully you're picking that up. Can you see? Can you see the colour change? Oh, that's very cute. I like that. All right. Now, the next one is the purple one. Hold it like this so I can flip it. Are you ready? Oh, that one's good too. This one's got more of, it's got more like of a gold line through it. A few more bubbles on that one. I don't know why I've got so many bubbles. I've heated my resin. But look, it's got such, it's got lots of little, little lines in the mould. Like it's, it's quite detailed. So I'll have to come up with a way of maybe spraying them first with some alcohol. Not sure. So this one has got like gold lines going through it and then the background is like a purple. But do you like the black? Like the, I mean the clear? You can see, you can see through. And I'll see if I can show you my little crystal edge. I'm not sure if it's picking it up. Can you see that crystal edge there? So there you go. What do you think of these two, hey? They're really pretty, aren't they? I do like them. All right, that was a lot of fun. <laughs> um, I will be making more and more and more of these silicon inserts because I can't get enough of them. It's so much fun. And you can do something different. All right, I've got to get the dogs organized to go to bed. Um, and I will see you again real soon for the next video. Okay, take care, guys. Bye for now.